I was quite excited to make this video because I just got my first fancy camera and a little time-lapse accessory. I've always wanted one now that I'm really pursuing art. It's helped me a lot creatively. What I want to discuss over this Harry Potter time-lapse, and of course I'm referencing Mary Grand Prix's legendary cover art, is to talk about inspiration. I've been painting on and off for about four or five years now, I'd say, and I've only just begun to ask myself why. Why do I keep coming back to this? What do I want to achieve with it? I could say I don't know, and that would be truth, however, th that's a lazy and an easy answer, and I want to go in depth. The other reason would be that I have an innate need to create. I have to. It's been that way since forever. When it wasn't painting, it was building in Minecraft, drawing, writing stories, or crafting costumes. I was always making something, and always really passionate about doing so. It's the only thing I ever could do. In a sense, it's not so much a choice of creating, but a necessity. My mind forces me to create, and my body has to obey. Think of it like sleeping. It's an inevitable itch that has to be filled, or you won't function properly. Even if you stay up for days on end, sleep will eventually catch up with you, and that's how it is with my art. I have to, and if I don't succeed with this, I won't succeed at anything. The other question beckons, what do I want to achieve with this, and I struggled on this for a very long time. Part of me believes I won't achieve anything, yet another part of me hopes that I can tell a story. When I looked at the creators who inspired me, and allow me to just name a few, John Williams, J.K. Rowling, George Lucas, Mary Grand Prix, Jim Henson, Brian Froud, Alan Lee, Robert Hack, I realised that they all had something in common. Why I loved their work so deeply. All of them told a story through their art, either visually, or musically, or literary. That's the piece of inspiration that told me what I was missing. What I wasn't doing with my art that I was inspired by, that I really wanted to do. Telling a story. This very audio is just that, me expressing my ideas through visual art and a voice. That's my greatest inspiration, my greatest hope to achieve. I have no doubt with practice and time I'll become decent enough at this to have pride in myself. Though the terrible part of storytelling, I admit, is that it needs an audience. How do I tell my stories with no audience? I have no idea. I suppose this is all just a monologue to myself. I am the creator. I am the audience. I've come to see I don't understand human behaviour much, and it's futile to try and appease or predict the reactions of others, or the reliability of an external audience. Again, I have no choice. I am forced to create for my own soul desire, not because the world needs or wants me to. In a way, my inspiration and hopes for achievement are very selfish, and I've learned a lot by discovering this about myself. That's why I did this two-month task of recreating a study of the Harry Potter cover. It's a beautiful piece of artwork, created by an incredible artist and storyteller, and I'm hoping to hone in on that skill as I continue to paint and write. If, by some miracle, another new artist is interested enough to see this, I want you to ask yourself the same simple questions, and really dive into it. Why do you keep doing it? What do you want to achieve with it? Maybe you'll learn something new about yourself, or the artists you admire. My story and wisdom is at its finish. I bid you farewell.